Hey, I'm Angie. I'm Rhonda. And we're Adventures in Nomadness. Hey, right now we've got our bikes on the back of our truck and it's just not quite working out with us. So we're gonna explain why and we're gonna move these bikes to the back of the RV. Whoop, whoop. Hey, thanks for joining us today. If you do like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because that helps us a whole bunch. But hey, bike rack systems, it's kind of a hot topic among our RVers sometimes. And we are going to move to our third <laughs> try with this. We thought we were being kind of smart because we're like, hey, we got this cool retractable tonneau cover. We've got our pod over there. And we thought this would be pretty slick to have the bikes up here. And for the most part it is. Wow, pretty slick to have that up there. But there's a couple of flaws with it. Namely, we cannot find any cover that's actually gonna stay up there to protect the bikes. So, you know, no matter what you do, straps, bungee cords, netting, uh, there's just too much airflow going over to uh, not sort of rip up the cover that we had. So we, we didn't initially want to put a bike rack on the back of the RV because it makes it about two feet longer. And, um, you know, if we want to just go be able to uh, bike ride and take the bikes uh, with the truck and not directly from the campground, we thought this is a great system to be able to just have them on the, the back of the truck all the time. Uh, but again, you know, it's if it's raining, we can't have the cover on, the bikes are more exposed to the weather. So we're finally giving in. Now, because I said this is our third system, we actually had, this is Swagman here, and I'll talk about that more a little bit later. But uh, basically what we did have uh, before was Yakima racks with the front tires on and the bar that held the bikes right here. And it didn't work out very well. It kind of did, but it didn't work out the greatest just because there was just too much play. Couldn't get those tightened down enough and the bikes were kind of, you know, swaying back and forth. I didn't really like that at all. So this has actually worked pretty good with the front fork down and then we've got a couple of tire holders over there. So we're gonna keep this on the back of the truck so that if we do wanna ride somewhere else, we can just throw the, the bikes up here. Uh, you could move the rack from the back of the RV to the back of the truck and do it that way. But that's 50 pounds you're moving each time just for the bike rack and we don't really wanna do that. So let's uh, go look and see what we bought next and you can watch me install it. Woo so hey, we're in a garage and you're probably wondering why. Well, we're house sitting for some friends this week and we thought it was a good opportunity to go ahead and order the Swagman dispatch uh, to their house and then we can install it while we're here this week. So Swagman is a Canadian. They're out of Okanagan in BC and this is an RV approved. A lot of people really like this and we've, I've seen it on the forum. This cost me about $335 on Amazon. Uh, the other one that people absolutely love is considerably more money though is the One Up, I believe it's called. And uh, it's more money. Um, I'm kind of gonna try this one out for a while and see if it's as good for a less price. So I will let you know on that. Anyway, let's get this thing installed. There is some assembly required. So I've got all the pieces laid out and I'm ready to assemble this bike rack. Just like that, it's assembled. So I just needed a half inch socket to do four bolts. Bam, bam, and bam, and bam. And I need a screwdriver because there's a set screw on the end of the bar so that these things don't come off. And we're ready to put it on the RV. Let's see if I could lift 50 pounds. I lied, you will need another tool. 
uh, 7 8 uh, socket because this is supposed to be torqued to 50 foot pounds. Uh, I don't know where my socket's at now, so I'm gonna have to come back and do that. So, real tight crescent wrench at this point, but this is threaded, so this will get this in real tight without it swinging around. Solid as a rock. Woo this comes with a really nice locking cable for your bike, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the other side with the actual lock. Okay, so I have both bikes installed and they feel really solid to me. Uh, these straps here, one strap there, one strap there, and then the bar that goes over the top and they feel like they're not really gonna move on here at all. So pretty happy with this setup and we'll uh, give a report maybe in a couple months after moving around to see how much we still like these. There's a couple of, of uh, spots where the bikes might possibly rub a little bit so we can put something in between there if we need to. But um, like I said, we'll give a report in a while about how we like this. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. See y'all later. I am Angie and I can't see shit. It's too bright out here. <laughs> it pays to be a lot taller. I guess. Uh, hey.